This is just a quick video to show how to do Bluetooth MIDI from the uh, Akai MPC Live 1 or MPC X from an iPad and vice versa. So the first thing you want to do is load up your MPC, go to your home menu, settings, go to Bluetooth, and you need to turn it on, obviously. And you'll see it start looking for available devices. And similarly, on the your iPad, iPhone, or whatever you have, you'll want to come over into your Bluetooth settings, and you'll start having it, it'll look for other devices, but on your MPC, the first thing you need to do is go to your iPad, it should be able to see it, and then go to uh, the pair menu and tell it to pair. And then you will see on your iPad, it'll let you know that there's a pairing request. You wanna to touch pair, and then you'll see it start coming in and trying to connect. Now, frequently, you will get a failed to connect to your iPad message. And you'll see here, it sees it, but it's not paired, or it's not connected. And you'll need to come over, and I, I usually just do a quick connect from here. You just touch the connect button in your uh, Bluetooth settings, and you'll see that it's now connected. So, what you can do, I've already loaded up an instrument here. I can play it on my pads, but the fun part is if I come into something like uh, Navicord, I can then come into options. This application is actually a little special. When you come into this menu, you're gonna see uh, MIDI. Now you'll see Bluetooth met MIDI, and if you come in here, you'll see it's nothing here. I, I'm not quite sure what the difference is here. There's probably some way that it, it shows itself to, and presents itself, but if you just go into MIDI IO, you can actually come in. You can see here, I'd already turned on uh, MPC Live 2 Bluetooth and set notes. You can also sync clock, but if you do notes, now I can come over, I can close this. It's playing both the iPad sound and the MPC, so I'll turn off my, turn down the volume on my iPad. And now you can see it's sending notes over for what I'm uh, triggering. And I can come in and play chords, things of that nature. Um, some other fun applications here is if I go into, instead of Navicord, I can go to Chord Maps. Again, if you know how to use the app, you'll want to go into your settings. Uh, I've already turned on the MPC Live Bluetooth 2 here, so I can send it, but if you watch, you can see it's sending the notes. And the this application is really great because you can do things like play different types of chords. So, you know, you go one, two, five, two. And one thing I'll just point out is that, you know, this is pretty performant over Bluetooth. Obviously you're gonna get a better connection signal going over a USB connection, but I actually find this to work pretty well. So anyway, that's how you can set up using uh, Bluetooth over your iPad and your MPC. Bye.